And I'm just going to go ahead and click run once. And you can see how fast this posts to all our platforms. Literally in just a couple seconds, I posted to X, I posted to LinkedIn, and I've created an entire new Medium article in draft form. And so if we come back over to my X account, refresh the page here, you can see our first article got published here. If we come into LinkedIn, you can see I have brand new activity on my account. This is the new post that just got published. And likewise, if I come into Medium, refresh the page, I have this new blog article all ready to go. What if you could build a social media empire while sleeping? I'm about to show you how to turn make.com into your personal AI social media manager that works 24 seven without you having to do anything. Right now, thousands of creators are manually posting across their platforms, wasting countless hours of precious time. But here's the awesome part. I've automated my entire social media workflow using make.com and AI to post over 100 pieces of content per week without touching a single button. This isn't just about saving time. My automation system can help you grow your LinkedIn, Instagram, and X engagement starting right now. The best part is that you don't need any coding experience to set this up. In the next 15 minutes, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to build an AI-powered content machine that automatically pulls from an Airtable database containing all your AI-generated posts and images, and then automatically publishes them to LinkedIn and X at the perfect time. No more manual posting, no more forgetting to post. Stay until the end, and I'll share my exact make.com blueprint that you can copy today absolutely free. We're going to transform your social media workflow. But first, I need you to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about AI and automations. Whether you're a solo creator or starting your own AI agency, I create content like this all the time that you won't want to miss. First, I'm going to walk you through this simple make.com scenario so you know exactly what it does. And then we're going to get started building it together completely from scratch. If you haven't seen the first two parts of the series, I highly recommend you check those out too, since today we're going to build off that foundation. In part one, we built an automation that scans the internet for relevant news content in your niche, then uses AI to analyze and summarize it and organizes everything into a clean Airtable database. In part two, I revealed an AI automation system I actually sold to a client for over $2,000 that uses AI to write highly engaging content for all your social platforms and even generates AI images without you having to do a thing. By the end of today's video, you'll have an entire social media content machine ready to double your engagement, all while reducing your workload by over 90%. Okay, so here we are inside of make.com and let me walk you through exactly what this simple automation does. Basically, this entire system is designed to pull our topics from our Airtable database and post them to our social media accounts based off of the schedule that we set. So if you watch parts one and two, this is the database that we created that contains all the information about our news sources, the headline of the articles, the topic, a little AI generated summary and the body of the article. From there in part two, we used AI to generate the perfect copy for Twitter, stuff that's optimized for LinkedIn and even a blog article. And then from there, we also used AI to generate an image prompt as well as a completely AI generated image to go along with our post. So basically what's happening in this flow here is we're grabbing the records from Airtable, we're grabbing the post copy and we're grabbing the image and we're posting them to our social media platform. So let me show you exactly how to set this up. So the first thing that's happening here is we're searching our Airtable database for a record that we've approved. And so now we set the system up in a way that gives us control over what content gets posted and what content does it. Now you can skip this step if you want, but I personally like this step because I like to have control over what topic gets sent out to my audience. So all we're doing here is we're basically using this formula to look to see if we've approved the content and that it hasn't already been posted. And we're just setting this limit to one because we only want to post one piece of content at a time. We don't want to be posting 10 tweets back to back on Twitter. The next thing that's happening is that we're using this HTTP module to get the link to our AI generated image. From there, we're just grabbing the date so that we can store that in Airtable so we know exactly when our posts got published. The next thing we're doing, we're sending this down two different routes and I'll show you how to set this up so you can actually create image posts on Twitter and how we can publish to LinkedIn. And at the end here, what we're doing is we're just storing a record of that in our Airtable database to let us know that yes, this post has been published. This system is designed to run on a schedule. So when you're ready to post, all you do is set this to publish however frequently you want. It could be every morning, it could be every six hours, and this will run and it'll just grab the next article or the next piece of social content that you've approved in your database, and it'll publish that. And then six hours later, or however long you set, it'll go on to the next one. So let's go ahead and let's get started building this from scratch. So basically there's only one thing we need to add to this database that isn't in here already. So if we just come to the right here, we just wanna add one more column. And if we come down to this checkbox, all we need to add is the name posted. 
we're going to create this field and we just created a checkbox. Now at the end of our automation, once a row has been posted both to Twitter and to LinkedIn or our blog or wherever we set this up, we'll just check this box off so that the system knows that this article is posted and we won't post it again. If you haven't used make.com before, it is my favorite piece of automation software. I'll leave a link in the description where you can sign up absolutely for free. After you create an account, the first thing you want to do is you want to come up here and just click create a new scenario and we're going to start fresh. So if you remember, the first thing we want to do is we want to search Airtable to get a record of anything that we've approved to be published. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the plus and I have Airtable up here, but if you don't see it, you can search for Airtable just by typing it in and I'll go ahead and click search records. I have a connection already set up, but if you don't have a connection set up, you're going to go ahead and want to click add and set this to Airtable token or key. And then come over into Airtable here. And if you go into your little profile icon and you go over to the little builder hub here, you can come into these personal access tokens on the left and click create new token. And you can create a new token to link up to Airtable. I have this working Airtable connection. I'm just going to go ahead and find the base that we've been building off of. And for us, it's this news topic database, which again, this is the database we've been building right here that contains some articles for us talking about open AI. This is the topic and summary that were generated by our AI in part one of the series, uh, as well as the full body of the article. And then here is the Twitter copy or the tweet that will go out. Again, this was all generated by AI. This was done in part two of the series. And then copy for our LinkedIn. Here's a whole blog article that was, all, again, all generated by ChatGPT. A prompt for uh, AI image generator, we use Flux. And then here's the image that got created. And again, this happens for every single one of our posts. And so once we're happy with this, what we want to do is we just want to check the box that says source approved for social. This field is going to become important for the next part in our series where we create an entire newsletter based off of this database. But for now, all we want to focus on is this source approved for social. And so we can see here what's great about this database is this gives you full control. Nothing has been published yet. It's all stored. And so if you want to change the tweet, like say you don't want to use emojis or something like that, you can just come in here and you can delete the emoji. And before this goes to publish, it's just going to publish anything that's in this database. So you can change it however you want. Likewise, if you're unhappy with the image, you can go into your favorite AI image generator, generate a new image and replace the image in this field. So whatever is in this table is what's going to get published to your social media platforms. There's actually one more field that we need to create that I forgot about. And this is the content approved field. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this checkbox here. And I'm just going to rename this content approved. And so now what's going to happen is once you're happy with the tweet copy, once you're happy with the LinkedIn and the blog and the image, you're just going to come into this box and you're going to check the checkbox here for content approved. So now that we're in make.com, we're in our search records module. We're just going to select table one, which is where all our records are stored. And we're going to select the output fields. We're just going to output all the fields. It doesn't matter. We'll just grab the ones that are relevant to us later. And we're just going to paste in this formula. And you want to make sure that you copy this exactly. These formulas can be like a little particular sometimes. If it's not working for you, I highly recommend going into ChatGPT or Quad and just giving it context, telling it what you're doing. Hey, I'm creating an automation inside of make.com and I'm using the Airtable module and I need to fix this formula. But here's how the formula works. And make sure, again, you copy the format exactly. And so it's capital A-N-D parentheses bracket. The name of our first field, which is content approved equals one posted equals zero. And so again, this formula is checking to make sure that the content approved checkbox is checked, but that the posted checkbox is unchecked. Because again, we want to search for new content that we've approved uh, and not content that has already been published. And we're just going to set the limit down to one because remember, we only want to return one result at a time. So I'm just going to go ahead and click save and we'll rename this. And I'm just going to say three post to social B2G, which is built together. So now if I right click and click run this module only, or likewise, since we only have the one module, you can run the scenario once, you can see we've just returned one bundle here, which contains, again, this entire row of content that we've approved to go out and publish to our socials. So you can see here's the Twitter copy. And here's the and here's uh, all the other fields that we don't actually need for this. But if you come into the LinkedIn copy, this is our LinkedIn post. And here's the copy for our blog, et cetera, et cetera. So the next thing we do is we just need to send this out to our social media channels to get these published. So the next thing I want to do is I just want to get the image from the image field to make sure that we can use it in the rest of our flow. So I'm just going to click the plus here and type in HTTP. And all we have to do is get a file, which is going to download the file. And for the URL, all you have to do is come into the image here and come down to URL and pipe that in and click save. And what's really cool about this is this is going to get dynamically updated. So every time we have a new post going live, it's going to update with the image URL. You're going to get the new copy. You're going to get the new image. It's going to get 
all sent out to whatever social media platforms you want to publish to. And from there, I'm just going to copy this time posted module and I'll show you exactly what it does. So I'm just going to set this up. I like to have this. I actually don't have this in our Airtable database right now. We can add it if we want. I'm just going to click the plus here. I'm going to add a single line text and I'm just going to say date published. This is really just so we can keep track of things. Actually, I'm going to use the same formatting that we we're using before the camel case. Click date published. Okay. So now here what we're having is we're just naming this variable date published. And this is the, we're reformatting the date. Make.com has this really weird date and time format that it stores everything in. I don't even know what this is called. It looks like this. It doesn't make any sense. So basically you just need to reformat the date. And what this is doing, it's saying format the date. And basically now you want to pipe this in. Uh, if you come into, if you come into the calendar functions, you can just grab this here which is basically going to take whatever date and time it is now and this and it's going to reformat it in this format that we want. So this is the uh, you know four number year. This is the month, day, hour, minute, uh, and then a.m. or p.m., right? Um, basically, it's just going to... So if we run this once, you can see that the output comes out like this. 2025, January 25th, it's 8.44 p.m. right now, Eastern time. So this is something nice. We can actually use this format. It makes sense. Again, personal choice if you want to use this or not. I just think it keeps things nice and organized. If you're looking for a post later, you can kind of reference it back in your Airtable. So now the fun part is when we actually get to publish this to our platforms. And I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to search for router because we want to add a router because we want to publish this to our Twitter or X account. And then we want to publish to LinkedIn. And I'll even show you how to use uh, Medium to publish uh, a blog article. So publishing to Twitter or X is like kind of weird in this. You need both the version five and version six modules. I'm not really sure why, but that's how it works. Uh, I'm not going to go through this video today, how to get access to the Twitter API. There's plenty of videos on YouTube for you to watch to figure out how to do that uh, or kind of articles on the internet that you can do. So if you don't know how to get the API for Twitter, uh, just go ahead and search that on YouTube and you'll be able to figure it out. I always tell everybody that troubleshooting is a huge part of running these automations and creating these automations. So learning where to get information and how to figure things out for yourself is extremely important because you are going to encounter errors like all the time. So knowing how to fix those and being confident enough in yourself that you can go out and find the answers is really honestly one of the most valuable skills. And it's something your clients will really appreciate of you. So if you come in here and you search Twitter, basically up here, we want to actually start with the version five uh, version of this module. And what we want to do is we want to upload media first. So I'm going to select upload media and I already have my account connected. Remember, you can go in and you can figure out how to connect this uh, using the Twitter API or the X API. And I'm just going to go ahead and in this attachments field, I'm just going to select this right here. And you can see here, this is automatically linked up to the HTTP module from earlier in our scenario. And so I'm just going to go ahead and click save. This is already going to grab uh, the image from that module. And now the next thing we want to do is we actually want to take this and we're just going to publish this to X. So I'm going to click plus to add one more module. And I'm going to click Twitter again. We already have this here. Remember, I'm going to change this back to version six. Again, I don't actually know why you need both versions of this, but you do. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and click create a post. So again, we're going to link this up uh, to our account here. And for the text content, what I want to do is I want to come down here into our Airtable and I'm just going to grab the Twitter copy here. So what's going to happen here is right now, this is only publishing the text of your Twitter post. But if you come into show advanced settings and the media IDs, what you can do is you can twirl this down here and just grab the media ID that's coming from the previous Twitter module. And really, you don't have to worry about the rest of this. You can just go ahead and click save. So you can see now that if we just run this once, I'm just going to go ahead and run this once. And basically, it's searching the Airtable records. The HTTP module is getting the image. We're getting the time posted. It's grabbing the image here for Twitter, and it's publishing it to Twitter. So if we come over to my Twitter account here, and I'm just going to refresh this page, you can see now that I just posted the first thing coming out of our database. OpenAI enhances ChatGPT's coding capabilities. And here we go is the image that's attached from the database. So I'm just going to delete this. I don't need this on my account right now because we'll do this again in a second. And I'm going to come back into make.com. Now I'm going to show you how to connect this all to LinkedIn. And this part is actually really simple. So basically, you just click the plus and we type in LinkedIn. And what do we want to do? So we see create a user text post here. But if we go into show more, we can scroll down and we can go to create a user image post. And so basically this type of module will allow you to also insert an image, not just the post content. And you can see here again, it's already pre-selected the HTTP module that contains our image. So this is great. This is working awesome. You don't need to worry about the title. You don't need to worry about the alt text. Just for the content here, what you want to do is you want to come down and you just want to click right here for the LinkedIn copy. This is already stored in our database. Again, this is stored right here in the LinkedIn copy. AI is reshaping software development, et cetera, et cetera. So we have this all plugged in. It's already ready to go. It's already written. You can change the visibility to whatever you want. I have this set to public. And where is this going to get distributed to the main feed 
uh, is reshared disabled? No, and click save. That's it. That is literally all you need to do to set this up to post to LinkedIn. And so what we can do is we can actually just right click here and we can say disable route. And so now it's just going to skip over the Twitter stuff and we can just click run once and we can show that this is going out again. This is going to get published to LinkedIn. If we come over to my LinkedIn here, I'll just refresh this. And I can go down to activity and this is the post that literally just got published right now. So if I pop into this here, we can see AI is reshaping software development. The latest advancements is this and is published alongside our image. This is working great. This is exactly what we wanted. And now if you come back into our Airtable database, you can see the last thing we have here is the blog copy. And so if you have a blog article, I personally write on Medium and I can just click the plus and you can type in Medium here and create a post. Again, connect this to Medium using the API. The content format is actually going to be Markdown because that's what we have it written in. If you want to write in something different, you can change the automation from before. And the content, again, we just want to come down here and click the blog copy. And this is going to get published. And literally, you don't have to add anything else. I actually haven't figured out how to add an image directly to the Medium article from the make.com module. If anybody knows how to do this, please let me know in the comments because I really want to know how to do this. Uh, and the only other thing we need to do is the, the, pub, the publish status. You can see down here, it tells you you can have you publish, draft, or unlisted. So the default is public, but I'm just going to say this as a draft for now. And so in the same way that we did before, I'm going to disable this route too. go ahead and click save. And I'm going to run this once. And again, this is going to go to medium and this is going to get published on my medium account. So if I come over to my medium account right here and I come into stories and drafts, you can see this is open AI's latest development, a leap forward in AI assisted coding. This is the article that got written by AI from part two of the series. And here we go. It's in draft form all up on medium. You can go ahead and add images to this. You can uh, change the text around. You can add more, you know, uh, formatting like this. You can do whatever you want. This is really up to you. So this is really great. This is working exactly how we want it. And really, there's only one thing left to do is to create a record of this in Airtable and to update the record. And so we're just going to add one more route down here. And here's Airtable. Again, if you don't see it, I'm going to just type it in. And what we want to do is instead of any of these, we just want to update a record. So this is going to search uh, our working Airtable connection. We're going to go ahead and grab the news topic database going to grab table one here. And there's really only a couple things that we need to add in. If we come down here, we just want to change posted to yes. So we know that this is posted and the date published. We're just going to grab this uh, from that set variable module that we created before. And I'm going to go ahead and click save. And that's literally all we need to do. Ah, one more thing, the record ID, the most important part. So basically just come into here with uh, where we search for the records and just grab the ID. And so what this is going to do, it's going to match the ID that we found from the beginning to make sure that we're updating that same row inside of Airtable. Go ahead and click Save. And I'm going to save the scenario. And this is really it. This is the whole system at work. So what's really cool here is, remember, we set the search records limit to 1. So again, we can set this to run every day, every 3 hours, every 5 hours, however often that you want. And basically what it's going to do, it's going to come in here and it's going to look for anything that's checked and in the content approved box and anything that's unchecked in posted. So let's go ahead and run this through once and I'm going to show you exactly how this works. And so basically just come down here and I'm just going to re-enable uh, all these routes here. So now we have the full system working and I'm just going to go ahead and click run once and you can see how fast this posts to all our platforms. Literally in just a couple seconds, I've posted to X, I posted to LinkedIn, and I've created an entire new Medium article in draft form. And so if we come back over to my X account, refresh the page here, you can see our first article got published here. If we come into LinkedIn, you can see I have brand new activity on my account. This is the new post that just got published. And likewise, if I come into Medium, refresh the page, I have this new blog article all ready to go. And then the last thing, if you come back into Airtable, you can see this is the last post that got grabbed. And so we've now checked off the, uh, the posted checkbox, and we've added the date that this was published. If you thought this video was helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more cool videos on AI and automation, and definitely check out part four, where I show you how to make an entire newsletter using AI without you having to do a thing. I'll see you over there.